Hey guys, how's it going? Justin here. So, on my previous video of this projector, this is the BenQ TH685. This is a 1080p60 with HDR. I show you some of the menus, the settings, and how this works with the PlayStation 4. Now, I connected my Xbox One X and things turn up a notch. Now, I'm able to play a 4K60 with HDR and also 1080p with 120Hz off refresh rate. Now even though there are no official games that run this refresh rate on the Xbox, the biggest gain here is the low 8 milliseconds of input lag. So if you're looking to play your games on an 80 inch or up to 200 inch screen size, this projector is a must. Welcome to the channel, I'm Jolster and let's do this. Alright guys, so now before we start the video, I'm going to show you some of the settings right here with the Xbox One X. I'm going to show you how this, I have everything set up. So first, over here, let's go into TV and display options. And then I'm running this at 4K, 4K resolution, even though this projector is only marketed as a 1080p. But you can accept 4K resolution at 60 hertz and also of course with hdr this is the reason why this projector is accepting 4k because it does have an hdmi 2.0 but it's basically uh scaling the resolution to 4k to 1080p but still it looks very very nice and sharp guys so i have all the green check marks right over here and then let's go into uh, video modes and then this is a 50 24 3d of course this projector supports 3d and also 4k and hdr and let me tell you this looks beautiful so i'm gonna do some doom gameplay and i'm gonna try other different games and also the 1080p with a 120 hertz of refresh rate so let's do this
Alright, so this is Red Dead Redemption 2, guys. Just wanted to show you how beautiful this looks in colors, too, as well. I did have to change some of uh, the HDR calibrations here from the game because it looked kind of too bright. So it did make a big difference when I reset the calibration here. Just wanted to show you some gameplay. I'm also using this uh, screen. This is the PET Crystal ALR screen from XY Screens. So you guys can see that this projector, it's bright enough to work with this ALR screen. It, even though this is designed for ultra short throw laser projectors. For audio, also let me show you, I'm going to be using the WISA audio that I have. There you go, just connected it. HDR looks so nice in this projector. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell? Get off him! Whoa. Damn snake bit me. Anyways, that is just a little show. I got bitten by a snake now. Let's play another game in just a little bit, right? Look how beautiful this looks. Oh my god. Alright guys, so now I want to try the input lag. I'm going to try Call of Duty to notice if there is any input lag change because I'm running this game at 4k 60 so before I do that let me show you some of the settings on the projector because I did notice that you some things change so for example picture mode this is locked at HDR and then on the brightness I have it at 50 color contrast at 50 sharpness at 7 but let's go into advanced and this is what I noticed that the gamma is locked you can't change the gamma you can actually increase the input LED I'm sorry, the HDR brightness. So this is a two, one, it gets dimmer. Or I, I for my taste, I have it at one. Uh, color management, you can still do that. I have it at warm. That's what I have. And then over here, noise, color management. But I also noticed that fast mode is locked. It's turned off. So which means that this is no it, it doesn't have game mode even though I'm supposed to use this in game but it's not this is locked at picture mode in HDR 10 and that is it so I want to see how it feels with playing a fast-paced game like this Call of Duty let's get do some gameplay and I, I'll show you my uh, tell you my experience Domination. all right guys Capture and hold the objectives. so I'm playing this game at 4k 60 with HDR so far it feels very responsive honestly I don't notice any difference when I'm playing with uh, game mode remember I'm not using the game mode feature right now so this guy this guy is just <laughs> I'm just using the regular HDR 4k 60 Hertz Oh, they got me. Wow, this game, it feels very, very good.
Oh wow. Alright, so I want to change this 4K to 1080p with 120 hertz of refresh rate. I want to see if it feels better. So let's go over here, TV display options, and let's go change this to 1080p. It's going to take a little bit. Yes. So right now it's, it's just switched to 1080p 60 but I want to do 120 hertz so we also have to turn off 4k in order for the uh, to, for it to really change to 1080p and also let's do 120 hertz of refresh rate so the biggest difference here is that when I switch to this resolution performance the input lag drops to 8.3 milliseconds so that's a big difference. All right, guys, so now I'm here with 1080p, 120 hertz of refresh rate. I did notice that the picture does get a little softer, so that is uh, that is the biggest difference that I noticed so far. But let's go into the menu because things change. Now, as you guys can see, I'm able to use game mode. So this will have the lowest input lag. These are the settings that I'm using, pretty much uh, kind of like out of the box, but let's go to advanced. And then now I'm able to change the gamma if you want to change that. Color temperature as well. The HDR brightness is of course um, unable to select it because this doesn't have, doesn't support HDR. For some reason the Xbox doesn't support HDR in other resolutions only at 4K. I wish they fixed that anytime soon but oh well let's move on. Fast mode is on so I will get the lowest input lag possible. So these are the uh, settings that I'm using, remember, this is a 1080p with 120 hertz of refresh rate. Let's do this. All right, this is not a bright uh, map, but let's see how we do here, guys. Kill confirmed. So this is 1080p, 120 hertz. Honestly, everything feels pretty much the same. I do notice that the color reproduction is not the same. Of course, the other one is uh, 4K60 with HDR. It does look much better in my opinion. Oh, that's pretty close. It feels good, but like I said, it doesn't look the same. It does make a difference. Oh man. Another victim, another day, another victim. Here comes another Heavy one. Radar in the air. Wow, the sound on this speaker is just crazy good. Remember, I'm using the wireless speakers. I did a, a video on it. I'm gonna leave a link in just in case if you guys are interested. Revenge, my friend, revenge. Oh, they got me. All right, well, it feels good. The biggest difference is that this is not in 4K and it doesn't have HDR colors. But so far, if you want to play with fast response time or actually lowest input like possible, this is a great option, 120 hertz. All right guys, so now I'm playing Halo 5 right here with this projector. I'm running this at 1080p, 120 hertz of refresh rate. Although remember the Xbox doesn't officially support that resolution or that, uh, not resolution, that performance. But it does support the lowest input lag. This is 8.3 milliseconds, so so far, it feels good. Oh my god, did I kill my own teammate? I'm so sorry, buddy. Oh yes. Oh, 
my god. All right, guys, so after playing different games, my conclusion so far is that I prefer to play at 4K60 with HDR. Everything looks sharper, color, colors look better, and I also didn't feel any unbearable lag, and I also wouldn't be playing competitive on a large screen like this, so this is my choice. But if you still prefer higher refresh rate, well, then you still have that option. So far, this is the only projector I know or tested to have this option. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for stopping by. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Jolster out. Oh hey guys, Jolster here. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. By the way, did you enjoy this content? If you like this kind of content, if you'd like to support this channel, first off, make sure you like and subscribe. And also, you, you can become a member. Just hit that join button. You get access to some of the emojis that I created. And also, you get early access to some of my videos, in the aftermath of the live stream that I do. But mostly, just want to support this channel, hit that membership program. All right, I'm working on more videos right now, so make sure you stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys. Joe